Crowds have been gathering in Cairo's Tahrir Square ahead of a mass rally to demand the resignation of Egypt's Islamist president Mohamed Morsi. Thousands spent the night in the square, focus of the protests which brought down ex-leader Hosni Mubarak. Protests are also expected at the presidential palace in Cairo and across Egypt on the first anniversary of Mr Morsi's inauguration as president. His opponents accuse him of failing to tackle economic and security problems. Supporters of the president also plan to hold their own rallies. Egyptians have been talking about June 30 for many weeks, the opposition vowing not to leave until Mr Morsi steps down and calls early presidential elections, says the BBC's Ali Makbul in Cairo. But there is a big part of this society that says that Mr Morsi is someone who was elected and should see out his full term in office, so there is a real split in this society at the moment, a split that we will see reflected on the streets, our correspondent adds. Protesters are unhappy with the policies of the Islamist president and his Muslim Brotherhood allies. Opposition activists say more than 22 million people have signed a petition seeking a snap election. They have urged the signatories to come out on Tahrir Square. The grassroots movement Tamarid, Rebellion, is behind the petition, which has united liberal and secular opposition groups, including the National Salvation Front. However, many ordinary Egyptians, angered by Mr Morsi's political and economic policies, are also taking part in the rally. Flags and tents form a base camp on the square from where protesters plan to march the presidential palace. Hanan Bakker traveled specially from Dubai where she lives to join Sunday's protest. I'm hoping to stay on the streets until the whole regime of the Brotherhood is brought down, she told the BBC. We are seeking the support of the country to stand behind the second Egyptian revolution. If Egypt falls under Islamist extremism, this will affect the whole region. Egypt is for all religions, I am a Muslim who attended an Armenian Catholic school. Speaking in South Africa, US President Barack Obama urged all parties to make sure they are not engaging in violence and that police and military are showing appropriate restraint. Continue reading the main story.